did beat it with Michael Peters, which I choreographed portions of that as well. And uh, as I told John Landis, I want Michael Peters to work on this thing. And so we got together and we did certain steps and we did certain things. I said, no, I don't like that. And he said, yeah, I like this or I don't like that, what I did. And we just finally ended up agreeing on, you know, the piece. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bang, 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 bang. Shoulder, shoulder, and ba. And hit, and ba. And a ba da, chin, ba da. We have um, 18 professional dancers. We have four pop lock dancers. <laughs> Michael is quite amazing to me because he's working with these people that have made a living at this. I mean, have studied this for a greater portion of their lives. And he'll walk into a studio and it's purely on rhythm. I mean, I purely give him a rhythm of a step. And he does it, you know? And it really just, it's fascinating because here are these people, you know, who spent X amount of thousands of dollars training, studying to be dancers for all their lives. And this kid walks into a room and you say, This is the beat. Ba, da, 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 da. And he does it. And it's really wonderful to watch because it's an innate gift that he has. He's a dancer in his soul. It's just something that you're born with and you can do and, and you just continue doing it and you get better and better. After my Motown performance, when I performed Billie Jean, I was nominated for an Emmy, in which I lost. But my real award was the next day after the show when Fred Astaire called my house. He said, I saw the show last night, I taped it, I watched it twice this morning. And he said, you were incredible, you're a hell of a mover. And I said, God, thank you, it's so wonderful for you to say that because I think you're the best.